After coming off an overtime win on Monday night, the St. Joe's Hawks look to go back-to-back -back wins as they took on the Princeton Tigers in their home opener on Saturday night from Hagen Arena on the campus of St. Joe's University. In the first half, the Princeton Tigers would jump on the St. Joe's Hawks, and then from there, the Hawks would rally back to take a 32-31 lead at the half. In the second half, both teams would be trading shots right and left, but the Hawks would take control and go on to win this game 71-58. St. Joe's head coach Phil Martelli would discuss how the team responded from their slow start in their win over the Princeton Tigers. And I, I wasn't sure if we're still trying to feel our way now that it's official and fresh. I, I don't know if, if that's what it was. Uh, playing at home can, can throw you off. I'm glad we played at night. So they had all day to kind of uh, re get going again. Um, but again, Taylor went in, made buckets, and then and then late in the half, Anthony, I, I think he had 10, 10 straight or 10, at least 10 in that half. So uh, we kept going. That would be the biggest thing. And we didn't drop our head. That kid put on a shooting exhibition. Whether we were zone or man to man, uh... St. Joe's forward James Demery would discuss how the team responded back after their slow start they had in the first half to come back to win this game. During the halftime, the coach brought us in and we held it together and we was just like, yo, just keep the confidence. We was missing shots. On defense, it was a little bit off. But we was like, yo, we got more hearts. So we knew we. Like, everybody complied with what we were trying to do. We knew we was going to get this win. So everybody chirped in at the end and was able to pull it out. St. Joe's freshman Taylor Funk, who led the team in scoring with 23 points, will discuss his performance and tonight's win over Princeton. Um, shot well, seemed to go in tonight. Um, I mean, I expect that every every game, but it doesn't always happen. So, it's confidence. Uh, the guys and the coaches are building my confidence up, and I have the green light to shoot, and when I'm open, I shoot. And there you have it. The St. Joe's Hawks will take down the Princeton Tigers 71-58. to And now the St. Joe's Hawks will head on the road to take part in the Wooden Legacy on Thanksgiving against Washington State. The next time the Hawks will be at home will be on November 29th against Bucknell. Reporting live from Hagen Arena on the campus of St. Joe's University, I'm David Melandra.